welcome back to Hal Tech TV. Yes, it is the same day of me recording as the last video. Um, and uh, yes, I am very, very behind on this particular video. But like I said in the last video, uh, if you haven't watched it, it was the UP2516D unboxing. Uh, that is a Dell 2560x1440 10-bit IPS monitor unboxing. Uh, that product came out this year. This um, just so happens to be a fairly new but old product. It's the Logitech MX Master. Now, again, like I said in the last video, I'm, I'm focusing on products that I'm interested in and that I would like to use and think I will be using in my day-to-day -day life. So I bought this. This is the MX Master. Um, and then what I'm going to do in this video is talk a little bit about it um, and unbox it at the same time. Uh, it might be a little bit shorter than the last one, but uh, yeah. Very informative and rambly video. If you're not into them, uh, then this video is probably not for you. But we will have a video review out soon uh, on this particular product, um, which will be a lot more concise. So you'd be very welcome to subscribe. Oh, uh, tactical. Um, uh, and wait for that review to come out because that will be a much better. Uh, informative review on how good the product is, whereas this we're talking a little bit about it, first impressions, and getting it out of the box with some uh, pretty kind of uh, camera cuts and b-roll and stuff as well. So uh, I'll be back in a second uh, and we'll get on to unboxing this product. Okay, so same situation, very static camera, um, and then we'll just get unboxing and you'll get a lot of kind of cutaways where you actually see the product up close but for the unboxing you will be somewhat far away from the product uh, unfortunately uh, I don't have a cameraman uh, at all he's away sleeping upstairs because you know he works long hours um, and has a very busy life just like I do uh, so it's just me today um, so we'll use our knife um, in fact, no, we'll go around the, the, the box first. Uh, we didn't do that in this one uh, yet. So on the, the front of the box, you can see the product. Uh, and you, if you open it up, you do have a, a flap here showing you uh, the mouse on the inside. Very nice packaging. Uh, Logitech tends to do that quite well. Um, so do a lot of other mice manufacturers, actually. It seems to be very specific products. Uh, where the competition, someone decides to do a very nice packaging. Um, someone decides to do very nice packaging on one product and then it seems to stick with that style and that, that, that type of product. Mice being one of them. Uh, so on here it shows you basically that you can connect to three different devices um, with this particular mouse and then kind of switch between them as and when you want. Um, with either the IR receiver or Bluetooth, uh, which this supports both of. So, going around to the back, it also says you've got the smart wheel. Um, shifts automatically from click to click to hyper fast scrolling, if you don't know what that is. That's basically um, the middle scroll wheel on a lot of mice, it kind of it clicks every time you, you scroll a little, a little bit. Uh, with the MX Master and with the uh, Performance MX mouse that they had in the past and a couple of their other mice uh, they have this um, interchangeable thing where you kind of you click it a certain way and it completely just free free scrolls um, and, and, and that can be very beneficial for um, when you're bored and you want something to do it, it's very fiddly and it's, it's one of them things um, Thumb wheel for horizontal navigation and advanced gestures. Uh, so it also has side to side uh, buttons, I believe, on the scroll wheel rather than, or as well as obviously the scroll and then the down click. Um, in fact, I don't know if this has a down click uh, on other other mice by Logitech with the free scroll. The down click was to un unhook essentially the free scroll. Uh, we will see in the, the unboxing though. Uh, not too much else to say dark field laser uh, which means it will track on glass apparently and also up to 40 days power off a single charge uh, which is very good and very important when it comes to to wireless mice now this isn't a gaming mouse uh, it's more of a, a professional use mouse so 
Um, it doesn't have like gaming features and everything, like the kind of things that you would see on their uh, G series mice or whatever. But it is meant to be a very good mouse. Um, and I wouldn't probably mind playing a few games on this, this mouse. I do have the Rat 5. Uh, I have been very attached to that mouse ever since uh, that and the Rat 7 were the first reviews I ever did uh, back at my old, um, on the older YouTube channel that I used to run. Uh, I became very attached, so I got the white version. Uh, I don't know if there's a video on this channel about it, but I ha that's the, the, the mouse that I use day to day. So, uh, we've got the mouse here. Uh, there is also a little, uh, what looks to be a battery. Uh, here or a weight uh, so there's, there's that um, and we'll we'll put the mouse to one side for a second and have a look at what else there is so seems to be a uh, user manual and it's their charging cable now I really really like Logitech's cables it's actually very similar to the Dell cables uh, for the monitor that I just um, in the real world just unboxed uh, that they seem to be you know I don't know nicely done uh, a bit like Belkin as well Belkin make good cables uh, if you're ever looking for I don't know like a, an iPhone charging cable or stuff like that Belkin is a very good company to go with uh, they make very nice cables very nice accessories um, never had any problems with them so let's uh, get the, the, the mouse unboxed um, and let's have a have a bit of a look at it before we uh, go and well, or I go and play with it, uh, and then start uh, reviewing it. Um, so it's it's just so smooth and interesting. So you've got your uh, left and right click. You've got what. It's got like two different bits of, of grip on the um, the scroll wheel. So you've got your scroll wheel there. Uh, very, very smooth. Um, you do have a, a down click. Uh, how does it work with the left and right? Is it is it a click or is it a, just a, a little bit of a side to side? I'm not quite sure. Um, and then, so how does it? Free scroll. It might maybe need power. Uh, I believe this button, maybe. I'm not too sure. Uh, oh yeah, you've got your um, on the side there. You've got a, a thumb scroll. Uh, so there's that, and then also your backwards and forwards buttons, or your your uh, mouse button four and mouse button five there as well. Uh, so it's a very ergonomic mouse, which is the, the main benefit of the MX Master and the Performance MX was very, very well known for being very ergonomic. Um, and this is obviously the successor to that uh, mouse. So on the bottom there, you've got four um, slippery feet for uh, moving around on. And then also you've got your laser there, your connect button, uh, a switch between the IR receiver and Bluetooth and then also your uh, one two and three that you can switch between there for your three devices uh, so other than that there's not really much to say about the product other than it feels I mean like a performance MX or an MX master should feel very 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 comfortable and about as ergonomic as, as you can get um, it just everything feels very natural. Uh, it does feel natural on the Rat 5 that I have, uh, but not quite as natural. It feels like it's. It feels natural on the Rat 5 because it's it's almost forced upon you in a way. Uh, like the the Rat 5 has customizable um, sections on it, but I don't know. This just feels it feels right. I don't know how to, how to explain this, and I'll have a better explanation when it comes to the review. But yeah, that is the Logitech MX Master 
uh, Mouse, the successor to the Performance MX. I'm Hal Thompson. Uh, you've been watching another Hal Tech TV video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave a, a like if you did like the video. Give me some feedback in the, the comment section below. Do you like these rambly videos or, or would you not want to care at all for the unboxings in these rambly videos and you just want concise video reviews uh, or do you want a bit of both um, obviously you know I'd love to hear what you guys think but uh, these are the videos that I love doing the most and if you guys love to to, to watch them then uh, great it's a win-win situation uh, and it'll be even more motivation to continue going in the future but yeah other than that um, I I still haven't figured out what this does. That'll be in the review. Um, but yeah, I'm Hal Thompson. You've been watching another Haltech TV video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And goodbye.